Good evening. Good evening, my dear colleagues, friends, and uh, all the new listeners. Mm, so we, we start this month's last webinar today on the topic of technology and, and mostly we will focus on, on the technological aspects and then the seven reasons or the main reasons why this technology that I'm going to present to you, Skyway technology, Unisky string technology, why this technology is, uh, is here to, to make impact and not only make impact but change the world at least the thinking thinking part or the or the evolving part of our brain and then imagine it about what else could be possible because since we know that that there are um, quite rapidly growing um, challenges ahead of us with this going more green and and uh, the electrifying part and then of course the uh, economical part part as well and this all and and, and the biological part of course as we have well witnessed recently as yes, hopefully this will this will finds its uh, right way to to not change so much of our lives uh, if that's not necessary but anyhow i hope that we're all well and and we are uh, well nevertheless eager to conquer the world and eager to to make impact in in our future because we shape the future we as humankind as people and that's why our, the thinking of our thinking is very important yes but all right let's get on so yes my name is michael i'm from estonia and um, um, for the past four years and more i have been involved um, and i have taken part of this journey with skyward community uh, toward um, spreading the information about this this new technology that uh, that um, most likely will impact uh, many people's lives um, and and uh, yes well through the through the to, tonight's webinar we will see it um, the evening's webinar we will see more why I'm say, saying such a, a great words toward this technology, but really it is, it is amazing. Yeah, so briefly introduction, here it is. This is Skyward Technology, one piece of it, one model, Unicar. And, and as we know, Unicars can, well, the, um, it can hold basically our, from four people up to hundreds of people, depending on how large we will make tech happen, or how mm, tall, so to say. Mm, but yeah, here it is. And also, as you can see, the supports here, you can bear in mind that those can be covered with solar panels, there can be wind turbines, as well as, uh, as with the cabin that flows through the air or drives through the air on the rails or under the rails, as you can see here. So yes, so and and the shape and well, if you take a look at the construction part of the support there on the left side, you can see how thin it is and it's very elegant. Well, at least when we start to compare it with mm, with uh, different technologies, I'm going to show you quite soon. But all right, few news. I know I promised you not to tell news this time, but uh, just briefly, most important ones that uh, recently have well caught my eye at least and should be known to uh, every investor at least, or, or a person who wants to become an investor because this is very important present uh, moment news, so to say. But I would have a current, yes, they consider string track projects. They were, um, they had, they conducted a 
meeting, as you can see on this picture as well. And they were highly well impressed and uh, were discussing or developing ideas about different routes connecting important points in Abu Dhabi. So, and in conclusion, well, they were very satisfied, the government, people from the government, and they will take it to the highest level of, of these well, planning conductors or, or people who, who, whose word is, uh, is well, most important or group of people, which would say the, the last last go who gives the go or green light so basically yes but all right then the process of the track two construction in Sarcha, as you can see here well i just bring this out to you so you can see that well maybe i should yeah a little bit um, tell you about briefly about the um, uh, demonstration and certification centers so we have two of them uh, first one was built uh, well, the building started back in 2015 in Belarus near Minsk in a place called Marina Porka. And the second one uh, for the past three years, I believe now two or three years, yeah, uh, Skyway has been building his, well, as you can see on this picture as well, in Abu, sorry, not Abu Dhabi, but in Sarja. So it's, it's next to Dubai, about 15 kilometers from Dubai. Yeah, so there is the second one, and that one is called, what this one has here presented on the slide, is called Innovation Center, or at least this one is part, just two buildings there, but there are many buildings. There is a echo house of ours, which is a wooden house, so basically. But more about that one, I can tell you next time. Yeah. Or you can look it up because I have told uh, about Echo House for quite long. So this time we will take a look at more about the new buildings. So, but uh, the the well, the first track was 400 meters that was built, and basically you can see it's the small one there where the two guys are standing on the right side next to the car, and then to the left about I don't know one centimeter there is the support the beautiful support and that one actually exists as well that's uh, that's both for unicar and it has been certified also the unicar has been certified which is great news because uh, well at least i have thought about this uh, that um, marina corca in belarus is like a window to well the eastern countries and in sarcha that place if we get uh, certificates for, for the tropical climate, as we have done so far, uh, like this unique car back there, it's certified. Then this, well, this is like a window to to tropical climate countries, like Vietnam or Indonesia or India, or there are plenty of those, which uh, African countries as well. And that it will be very useful there for many reasons. But yeah, some more pictures here. So basically, why this is revolutionary, this container, this method to, to transport or yeah, state containers from one place to another is that we can well, basically use both sides of the track, the both side and the beneath the track. So it's already twice as efficient as, for example, if we think in parallel about a train or, or uh, well, even ship, it's only one ship and then it's C. But here we can have on one track, we can have we can use both sides, so it's double efficiency and, and the average speed or at least the maximum speed at the moment is about 120 kilometers per hour. So that's quite impressive as well, because as we know, mostly the trucks, well, the average speed is um, half of that, which has uh, Unicant here on this slide. So basically, it's already twice as speed and twice as fast as uh, as uh, well the truck trucks or ships or trains even. And uh, both sides, and then the loading, unloading, and uh, well, talking time it it's about one minute or less, and it runs on totally on electricity. There is no driver, 
So our autonomous uh, transportation system, basically, it's just impressive. Yeah, you can see. But all right, let's get on to the main part of this uh, presentation. I uh, will just sip a water for a second. Yes, so um, about 100 years ago, an artist pictured a future, our future, so that would be present moment, as you can see on this slide. So what, what I would like to, well, or what I'm thinking if I take a look at this picture is, or this um, painting is that Today, as, uh, as well in developed countries like Paris, Rome, well, here in Estonia as well, Tallinn, Tartu, Finland, all around the world, in, in the States, of course, Canada and so on, we have this, well, perfect first level infrastructure, I might say, at least by the, uh, by the technologies that, uh, that people are using to, to move and to get from one place to another smoothly and and as fast as possible or as fast as as needed and of course uh, the cost as well it depends a lot about possibilities of, of a person the person some might have to try with bus uh, some might want to try with bus but some might want to use car we have uh, electrical cars coming scooters bikes tramway, stroller buses, even metros underneath our, well, ground floor. There are uh, tunnels digged, uh, which are very expensive. And there is also a, well, train basically driving. But new challenges, new, new I can say, problems um, constantly arouse about, uh, about the infrastructure, about the traffic, about the traffic jams. And more and more people are coming to live inside the cities. Well, most of this centers and um, tourist attractions are, are located there where are well metropoles and so on like well rome at least we know and, and the culture and so on but uh, the problem here is that it's impossible today to take down already existing buildings to widen the roads or or build more tunnels or so on it's it's very expensive to do that and therefore well the humankind, I can say, or, or the societies, they need new solutions. And, uh, and well, one of the most logical ones is to go to the second level. If we have the great technology to do that. Because so far, I can show you now what humans have already invented here on the left side. The normal train, just uh, like, like a bridge, just uh, like the, the arcs there. And on the right side, that one is monorail. I could say that that one is most maybe popular. If we will compare it with Skyway, it's somehow with tram. Of course, it, it's they are somehow very similar. Uh, well, monorail because of its idea. It's on the second level. It has its own supports there. But take a look at those supports. They're very massive, and uh, and the rail itself it's massive, and and, and there are. Well, Skyway has developed um, itself, so it, it 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 can be numerous times better than all the existing technologies that we have today. And I will soon show you why. But this again is monorail. It's well, it's in New York, in Japan, uh, in Dubai. It's it's widely used, but mostly the tracks are not very long, and it's not that well popular at least it's not in every city but it's in most of the major cities but, but uh, I don't know when I don't recall at the moment when would be that time when last monorail uh, was built but I think people do not use it very much these days and that's well understandable because it's a 19th century technology as most of the technologies today we're using are well and the electrifying part is well we can see it's, it's a new angle because it's going to well take mass adoption but um, 
otherwise well the electrical part has been here as well for about 100 years or so so i have even seen the pictures of electrical scooters back in 1920s and so on so but but it was kind of secret for a while and then it was developed and now it's the time has come to to take well or to switch from from the fuel engines to electrical ones but here it is unisk string transport let's now focus to the presentation um, what is the idea of uh, of dr anatoly unisk who is the creator and the arch architect of this technology of unisk string technology his idea is to develop or, or to make this transnet yes basically develop transnet globally so that would be hundreds of thousands or millions of, of kilometers of skyway tracks which will connect well different cities different places so therefore the track length has been designed from the beginning to be unlimited but with monorail for example it's up to 50 kilometers then maximum speed mm, between cities this is the high speed model which is not that one on the screen at the moment but on another model that one goes up to 500 and even more kilometers per hour uh, and the, the route or the track for testing and certifying it uh, well the idea ha has been around for many years now and when it starts to materialize at, at the moment i'm not sure but Mm, that would be the end of the 15th stage as well when that happens so we have 15 stages of development with our technology and after 15 stages it would be it should be in masses and um, and make profit of course and so on but it depends the 15th stage depends when we will start to develop the track because it needs about 20 to 25 kilometers long uh, well distance track where it could accelerate for for 10 kilometers uh, sorry for to speed up then to accelerate and then to brake as well so it, it needs distance for that and that's why we are step by step uh, building new tracks at the moment there is uh, well in marina Gorka in our eco techno park in uh, Belarus, we have more than seven different track structures and uh, more than seven different models have been certified um, by Russian and Belarusian standards. And in Innovation Center in, in Sasha, in the United Arab Emirates, we have uh, one track completed and Unicar on it uh, certified. The Tropical Unicar one, luxurious, four seated and then uh, then three other tracks are under construction at the moment and those will be 2.4 kilometers long so important to notice and there will be a unicorn the sea container one then more than 100 people take on uh, models and then yeah and, well different different track structures different models to be certified and then when we have all these certifications uh, people see that uh, that all this works and even beyond and of course there's no doubt that, that first the tropical climate countries and then the developing countries and african countries will will take our technology in use but all right between cities the maximum speed is, uh, is up to 150 kilometers per hour which is also great and uh, well of course mostly usually we do not need because there are stops in in such a short, short distances that uh, it's it's um, not well reasonable or comfortable for passengers that uh, you need uh, well that the model or the technology they are driving with accelerates to 150 kilometers and then stops immediately again so therefore i will believe it, the average speed will stay about 70 to 100 kilometers per hour in in wider routes or longer routes but of course there can be different tracks so we, because as you know we, we we have that leverage our technology that we can write on the tracks structure and beneath at the same time so 
basically on it. There can be, for example, for example, express line which goes 500 kilometers per hour, and longer distances, few hundred kilometer, 300 kilometer distances, and beneath it can be the up to 150 kilometer per hour models that have more stops on the on the way. Then they are all self-driving electric cars, so autonomous. That's also great news. And traffic interval and traffic capacity. Well, now that's that's important. Uh, one to also understand, and I uh, will try to explain it as simply as possible. And basically, we have this um, track structure. We have this station. Then we have a parallel track structure, which is connected to the one that goes to the station. And uh, in the end of the parallel uh, structure, there is a the pole, basically another station but for maintenance for uh, charging because skyway has its own batteries has its own motor wheels and they need electricity so so therefore charging is also very important it can be done in stations um, while stopping and well letting people go out and, and new new one get on board at that time it can be and it can also well basically be at the depot then or at the maintenance. But another uh, great side point here is that um, we can also store many of those unicars or unibikes in that uh, maintenance area or in that depot, in that another station. And when the traffic, um, well, the amount of people who are coming to the station at rush hours when that uh, starts to rise then it's possible to automatically that then that uh, parked mo mobiles unicars uh, from that station will, will start to serve people as well so and when again the rush hour is gone then they, they can go back to the to that station to charge or, or for maintenance and that's why traffic capacity is up to 500,000 passengers per day as well. Yep, so that's, I believe, is important to notice. Yeah, one picture from, from Metro as well. <laughs> then this one is possible to see in Berlin, to Wuppenthal. Again, it's, it's, it's not widely used just in, in Germany. And this one, this is basically like a, a tramway, but it's upside down and well, and that's basically it. But in China, it's possible to see this one. Well, that one is now, this is the cable car basically, or the technology of cable car, which is described on the left side as well. And then the idea here is that the cable moves itself, but uh, well, the cable moves, but these cable cars, they do not move. They, they are basically like sued to the, to the cable and staying or, or on, on the one spot and the cable moves. And this, well, in ski resorts, you have most definitely seen or noticed this. But this basically there is a, in, in one end, there is like this um, well, spinning uh, engine or wheel, which basically takes or, or moves the cable. Yep. But um, other than ski resorts, this cable car system is basically used for touristic attraction. Nothing else, uh, well, yeah, nothing else mostly because the speed is about 15 to 20 kilometers per hour, so it's very slow. Of course, it's up high, so it's, the view is very nice, like with Skyway. But there are, yeah, different, many different, uh, well, side effects there. And it's also quite expensive. But yeah, here it is. In Marina Corca, um, our Eco Technopark, there was demonstrated the situation when, well, if something happens with one of the unicars, then what, well, about the safety, what will, will, it, will we do? Then uh, the first option is to connect to another one which is not broken or which works perfectly. To connect it with his elements, as you can see here in, in, in the front and in the back end, basically in the nose and in the tail of this unicar or unicars. And those will connect with each other so that 
the, the, the broken one can be either well pushed or pulled to the maintenance. Of course, there are uh, there are these straps as well. If that solution, which I just described, is basically not uh, possible, then we will put straps around our waist or our shoulders. Then there is a, this well, this uh, metallic element which goes which clings to the hook, which is inside the cabin, and we can lift ourselves down very smoothly. And this one was presented by by a member of uh, Sky, Skyway as well. Mm, in Sacha, and this was a big guy, I believe 140 kilo or kilograms or something like that. And uh, he landed absolutely softly. So that's that's great to know. So yes, welcome to the new age, electrified, fast, uh, e e economical, mm, and, and elegant on the second level. And that's the, also the main part of under the security that why it's uh, safe is that we are located up in the air on a specific track structure so basically we cannot well crash into into another mobiles or cars or trucks or whatever if we have of course calculated the the, the height but that's more but that's the job that of course has to be done the planning part and developing a project part so all right so now we're going to see um, the reasons why skyway is here to stay we will get um, into first and second um, important point and then the other ones we will uh, continue in the next webinar with the, with another points. So yeah, all right. Let's see. First of one, of course, it's innovate. As I mentioned before, it's electrified. There can be solar panels attached to the road structure. Also, wind turbines. And and uh, so basically, it's it's possible that Skyway produces its own electricity. It just needs some maintenance uh, over time. And of course, the artificial intelligence part, the uh, IT part, um, info, info technology part. So all this is combined. So this is basically 21st century technology. It's uh, well by its well materials that have been used to construct this amazing um, technology. These materials are nothing new to the humankind. It's just it's all is just put in, together in a new patent and patented uh, way and um, and that's that's important to to again to remember but here you can see on the right side there are this bunch of strings these are pre stressed strings so basically it's like a bridge kind of same uh, the, uh, well the idea as as is used with the bridges uh, around the world but it's again filled, this metal frame is filled then with a special filler. It's basically to put tubes in there as well to, if necessary, to take some cables or else through, through the drag structure. But then there is this motor wheel, which, uh, well, yes, as, as I mentioned before, Skype has its own motor wheel. So basically that one runs on the track, uh, track structure or beneath it. And then the derailment, derailment system, but the derailment system, the system is so great that even if we put it upside down, the model on the track structure, it stays there very strong. It's like a spider. And in the in the beginning, well, when the developing or the construction began in Belarus, uh, then in the first years there was one accident as well, where well, the track was not taken so high because well, it's more economical to develop it first lower then try everything just to test and demonstrate and, and then take the track structure higher like like they have done as well but at first there was yes an accident where a tractor um, try drove into the well into the way in in the way of of, uh, of the testing of the unibus and the cabin of this tractor was still smashed uh, luckily the driver stayed alive was taken to hospital, but their thing well uh, ended happily. But uh, Skyway, the cabin itself, it was just switched off 
a bit um, from its uh, well shape, but everything was holding in one piece and it could even move further and back. So that one also demonstrated it was well somehow not, not very lucky thing to happen or not great thing to happen, but it demonstrated that uh, even with crash, it's uh, possible to stay very well inside the interior or that it, the interior holds very well. Yep. Yeah, here it is. So basically this was the same track which you can see on this uh, slide at the moment, but just different model, it was Unibus. And uh, and then the yeah, tracks are on on its way. Ah, here it is again. But this one we already discussed. Yeah, there was EcoFest. I hope this will come again in in the future, at least in our Uni United Arab Emirates, where we could go all together and have this amazing day. People can come and see and try. This was uh, well. This day is meant mostly for investors who can purchase tickets through their back offices uh, and one, once in the summer it took place but right now because of firstly the coronavirus now the, the other situation then which we all know of course then that's why it hasn't taken place in Belarus but in United Arab Emirates it's possible to see that uh, from the road all these structures, but to get inside, uh, we need special permission. Yeah, so we will stop here and we will continue with ecological part. And after that, there is five more reasons why Skype is here to stay and why it will be developed in the future. And, and of course, why we as investors uh, should be proud of ourselves and should be, uh, well, patient uh, since since this is the beginning of something great but all right the next webinar in english takes place um, on 13th of october 7 p.m so this the time frame or the time zone is gmt plus two so check this one out as well depending on where you are located in the world and of course via YouTube it's possible to see me later because this uh, is also broadcasted there as well but thank you again for coming for listening and soon we will have all our webinars and all the presentations uh, renewed and there will be updates and then that's also also great to notice but more about that in the coming webinars right now Thank you very much all for coming uh, and stay healthy, stay happy and let's work together to achieve something amazing. So let's share this information. All right. Goodbye.